Alright, this is going to be my review for Zelda Conquest. A quest that I haven't actually fully finished yet. Now, I have a rule. Um, I haven't done level 10. or Well, I'll, I'll go into detail about level 10 in a moment. But I haven't finished level 10. But as far as optional content goes, if it's terrible, I can't downrate it because, once again, it's optional. But uh, I will say I'm actually, I was having fun with level 10. I'll talk about that in a moment. Um, I don't expect this review to be extremely long because when it comes to saying good stuff, I tend to have trouble saying it. But when, it's saying, when it comes to bad stuff in a quest, I tend to go on and on and on about it. And as far as this quest goes, I can, can't really find much bad with it. I actually really, really had a lot of fun with this quest. Exploration-wise, there is a lot to do at the beginning. There is so much you can do. And there is some, like, extra areas. Like, at first thought, like, my first impression when you first start playing, it's one overworld, or maybe there might be a two wide overworld. But once you get to, like, level four, or on the way to level four, you start discovering all these other areas that you can, you these other, like, like weird overworld-shaped areas you can also explore. And that really added to it. Um... There's a lot of money in this quest. Uh, money isn't really been a concern in this quest, considering the number of bomb bags I kind of bombed. I mean, I'm <laughs> bought a lot. So it's like money was nearly no object, which is kind of nice because I didn't have to sit around and grind a lot like I usually do sometimes. So really, it gave you the supplies. It gave you a lot of stuff to find. gave you a lot of stuff to get. The music, music choices were definitely really good. Dungeons were good. Um... Let's see here. Respawning bosses added a nice little challenge to it as well. Um, you didn't start to really see that till like the later levels, of course. And the additional enemies, especially some of those killer ones, really brought on some challenge and probably some annoyance as well. Um, some things that I didn't like, I will probably say. There were, there, in my opinion, there was a few too many of those split paths where you go one way and you activate uh, or open up the path for the other way. You have to go back and then go the other way, because there's also the chance, always the chance that you're gonna go the wrong way, have to go back to the fork, go the right way, activate it, come back to the fork again, and then go the other way again. And that uh, that was a little bit too much. I mean, having a little bit is great, but yeah, you kind of went a little overboard in my opinion on that. So that's my that's one of my complaints. Another thing, well, it's not really too much of a complaint. Not really that big a deal. Um, a lot of bomb wall, bombing walls to get to, like, secrets and stuff that you don't really see the secret until, like, you know, like, level 1 and 2 had this a lot. You go by here, you see, like, there's a chest attached to a... An attached, there's no doorway reaching it, you know, you missed a bomb wall. Uh, this can be easily negatable because you can have at least 30 bombs near the beginning of the game, so... And it gives you plenty of money to it, so really there wasn't a problem with it. Um, my other issue is that I was doing level 10 earlier today, and guess what? It crashed. Zelda Classic crashed. Because apparently there's this nice little purple 100 segment Moldorm or Landmola. I'm not sure which. But it cost my game to crash, and guess what? I have to do all of level 10 all over again. I'm not going to have fun doing that now. Oh, no, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God. I will definitely say you went a little over the top there. <laughs> That level is, while optional, pretty exciting and very, very interesting. Very fun. I'm really actually having fun. I'm just going to do it all over again up to that point. But I'm not going to downrate you to that. That's more of a Zelda Classic error, I guess. I don't know. I don't know Zelda Classic that well. Uh, oh, I had one more thing I thought. Apparently I can't think of it. Oh, I thought I had something. One second. Oh, what, oh yeah, the Cave of Ordeals. Cave of Ordeals is a bit of a letdown, just a slight bit. Um, it felt a little too easy, and then you got the climactic end where you find two Patrick Threes. I don't know, maybe the difficulty could have been buffed up a little bit, or don't give you red potions beforehand, because uh, I didn't have to use a potion at all. No, not at all. It was, it was too easy. So maybe just increase that. Overall, I would probably, well, probably no, I would definitely give this a 4.5 out of 5 would be what I rate. Although, you can't go 4.5 or half like that, so I would round up. This quest gets a 5 out of 5 for me. I really had a blast playing this, and I still have to do all of level 10 again. <laughs>
<laughs> oh, goody. Overall, very good, and I hope to see a sequel just like this. Do not let me down. And this is it for the review, so I am going to stop the video right now, so yeah. <laughs>